What's going on guys, PXCam20 back again with a brand new video. We are here for a fun one as we are racing at the Red Bull Ring in the wet. So this is the very first wet race that we're going to be doing. And honestly, my humble opinion, this is my favorite type of races. I love racing in the wets on uh, Gran Turismo Sport. It's just so much fun, the slipperiness, everything about it is just so much fun. Now, we are racing for a manufacturer cup race. So this is going to be one that we have to really, really focus on so we can get a really good finish as we're gonna be racing for 246 points if we get first place. And we are paired up with S rank players, A plus rank players, and A rank players. So it's gonna be a fun one. Now, before we get started, if you guys haven't yet, we are trying to reach 1,000 subscribers before the end of the year. So if you guys really enjoy this content, please subscribe to the channel and leave a like on the video as it helps out the channel a lot. So jumping into qualifying here, we are heading into turn number one for our first lap. As you can see, we are on the tail end of the line. As we head out of turn number one, we actually get loose and we spin out. So not a good start to our qualifying sessions. We gotta get back onto the racetrack and try to go around as quick as we can so we can at least put in a flyer. So luckily we were able to do that. You see we have about 35 seconds left towards the end of the qualifying. As we head into turn number one, we get out there and we are able to get through it cleanly without spinning out, unlike the last lap. And uh, we are coming towards the final turn of qualifying. Where are we going to end as? We're going to be one of the last cars passing the start finish line. Let's see where we end up at. Fifth, so not too shabby. We get a fifth place uh, qualifying, just like our last race on the uh, in Suzuka. So very, very happy about that, especially because it's in the ra uh, wet rain. I don't think we're going to have to do any pit stop as the tire wear was very, very uh, minimal. And also the fuel wasn't that bad as well. So. We don't have to worry about fuel or tires, we just gotta worry about driving the car as best as we can and just make up as many positions as we can and also not make any mistakes. So, coming to the green flag here, we get the countdown and we are starting now in fifth place down the Red Bull Ring. As we head into turn number one, we get right behind the Porsche and we try to get into the slipstream here as we head into turn number one, break very, very early and uh, cautiously so we don't run into anybody. As you can see, second place goes a little wide coming out of turn number one, and we stay right behind them in fifth place as we head into, down the straightaway heading into turn number two. So heading down to turn number two, we break very, very late, and you can see the three cars ahead of us actually go three wide, and the Porsche in the orange actually outbreaks himself, hits one of the Porsches out, and we're able to split the thread and get second or third place there. So we're able to make two positions up in the span of one corner as we head down the straightaway heading into turn number three. We're trying to keep it on the inside, defend our line as we head into turn number three. And you can see right behind us, three cars are going uh, three wide into the turn. And one of them actually gets pushed out wide. So let's go back to the replay here. You see the Porsche just outbreaks himself heading to the turn, hits or the orange car, and the orange car actually gets instant karma there as he gets bunted out. And uh, we're able to maintain third place coming down to the middle section of lap number one. So now we have our eyes set on the Honda. As you can see, first place is starting to pull away by a, a lot <laughs> as we're heading into the middle part of uh, turn of lap number one. And uh, we're still trying to catch up to the Honda as we're heading toward the final few corners here. Coming out of this uh, corner right here, we're unable to make that much time on it as we jump up into lap number three. So jumping up to lap number three, we're heading to turn number two and we're actually getting pressured by the Porsche behind us. And uh, we're trying to pull away here. So we actually have a better speed down the straightaway, but we just don't have the handling grip as the Porsches on the corner. So that's going to be the biggest factor for us to kind of keep an eye on is if we can try to get away from the Porsches on the straightaway, we should be fine. As you can see, we're actually trying to get away from him coming out of turn number one on lap number four here. We're heading into turn number two on the straightaway. And you can see we're starting to pull away a little bit, but he's actually sells us a dummy. He goes onto the outside, but cuts back to the inside. We have to give him the spot there, and uh, we lose third place, so now we're out of the podium. As we go back to the replay here, you see the Porsche just goes out to the outside, breaks very, very late, cuts it back to the inside, and we have to give him the spot there. So we lose third position out of turn number four. So coming down to the end of uh, lap number four, we are still right behind the Porsche. You can see in second place, the Honda actually gets a penalty, and the penalty system here or the penalty, yeah, the penalty system here is very, very brutal on the cards. It's, it's on the straightaway, and but it's in the beginning of the straightaway. So if you guys get a penalty and you lose the momentum coming out of turn number two, heading down the straightaway, you actually don't have enough speed to go down the straightaway, and it's easy for the cars behind you to catch up. As you're going to see right here, we're still right behind second place. We actually gained a couple of tenths on him heading down into turn number two. Second place has to serve his penalty down the penalty zone, and we're catching up to him now. 
As you can see, third place is now right on his back bumper as we head into turn number three. Heading into turn number three, the Porsche actually outbreaks himself as I think he got too, uh, too giddy about trying to make a pass on second place and we're able to kind of catch up to him as we jump up into lap number six now. Jumping into lap number six, the Porsche outbreaks himself again, heading to turn number one and we're trying to stay right behind him on the slipstream as we head into the second turn. Trying to make a move on the outside and try to do the same thing he did, but he covers the inside, so we give him a little bit of a tap there, heading to turn number two, and uh, we keep it right behind him. As you see, now we're starting to get pressure from behind too, so now we're getting a sandwich by the two Porsches. The third place is starting to pull away from us down the straightaway, but we have a better straight line speed, so we're trying to get into the slipstream, but unfortunately, we're unable to make up any time there. So jumping into lap, uh, lap number seven. Now heading out of the second turn, we're still right behind the Porsche as we try to get on the straightaway, heading to turn number three, stay in the slipstream as we're going to try to catch up as best as we can to him as we have nobody right behind us and uh, try to make as much time as we can heading into this third turn. We break very, very late as we head into turn number three and we actually gain a ton of time heading on the Porsche as we come out of the turn now. We're still behind him on the slipstream as we head into the middle sector of lap number seven. Coming into turn number four here, we're still right behind the Porsche as he actually goes a little bit wide coming out of the corner and uh, we're able to get a good run, uh, exit out of the corner as we head into turn number five. Coming into turn number five, we actually break very, very late as we try to clip the, uh, the apex very, very late and clip the next apex as best as we can. Staying on throttle full as we try to catch up to the Porsche, we're unable to pull up much, but uh, as we head into turn number one on lap number eight, we're just able to catch up on him very, very quickly. And now we're in the slipstream again, heading into turn number two. So we might be able to make an overtake here, or at least get a good, or set ourselves for a good position heading into the next straightaway as we head right behind him. We're catching up a ton as we head into lap number, or turn number two. We break very, very late. We try to make the move on the inside, give him a little bit of a tap. Actually, I don't think we, we don't even think we make contact heading out of turn number two. And we're going side by side now as we head down the straightaway off of turn number two. We're going side by side, and it's going to be a drag race heading into turn number three as we try to. Out, out break or outpace the uh, Porsche heading to turn number three. He actually outbreaks us as he has better handling than us. Good on him as he was able to keep it on the outside and make a good overtake back on us as we're trying to hit uh, the middle part of lap number eight. So now we gotta try to get back up to third place and try to pass him again. As we head into turn, uh, lap number nine, heading to the second corner again, we break very, very late as we're gonna try to set ourselves up for a good straightaway down uh, off of turn number two set ourselves up right here we try to get a good exit off but we're unable to capitalize on that so we have to wait another lap as we head into lap number 10 jump into lap number 10 the honda actually is getting uh, under pressure under the porsche and he actually gets very very loose you see second place goes wide and uh cuts it to the inside we're trying to make a move on the outside now oh the porsche heading into uh turn number two down the straightaway now the Honda's actually got a really, really bad exit, so we're catching up on him now. So we're heading three wide, heading into turn number two. Are we going to be able to do anything off of this? And no, we are. We back out of the move there as the Porsche and the Honda are going side by side as they head down the straightaway. We get into the slipstream of the Porsche, so we're going to try to see if we can follow whoever's going faster now as the Honda actually gets overtaken by the Porsche, so he lets the Porsche get ahead of him. And we're going to try to stay behind the Honda as we try to break very, very late, make a move on the inside, but it's a little too optimistic as we don't have enough momentum to try to carry ourselves into third place. Coming down third, uh, the third lap, or third turn, <laughs> can't even talk right now, but if we head out the third turn, into uh, turn number four, we're trying to stay right behind the Honda now as we get a very, very wide exit coming in and a wide exit. Uh, as uh, you see, we actually lose a little bit of the back end, but also the, so does the Honda. So. Coming to this turn here, we're getting a really, really good run as we try to make a move on the inside that's going to lead us into the outside into the next corner. And we try to get a good exit off of him, and we're on the inside now of the Honda heading into this turn. We're going to try to break as late as we can. We break kind of late, but the Honda breaks later, almost runs into the Porsche, and we're unable to make the overtake heading towards the end of lap number 10. So we're going to try to do the best as we can to try to overtake both of these cars as we head into lap number 11. Going down the first turn here, we're still right behind them. As you see, the Porsche and the Honda are still fighting with each other. And uh, they're going side by side now into turn number two. As you see, we're getting pressure from behind. We break as late as we can to try to avoid getting overtaken. As they're going side by side into turn number two, we make a little bit of contact with the Honda. Now we're going side by side into the straightaway. Force our way into there, but the Honda actually gets a better exit than us. So he's going to overtake us going down the straightaway. And we're just going to fall into the stream of him heading down into turn number three. Break as late as we can. Going into turn number three, 
but the Honda brakes later again. But the Porsche also goes very, very wide coming out of turn number three. And so we're going to try to capitalize on that. Unfortunately, we were unable to. As you see, we're heading towards the middle part of lap number 11. Fast forward here. And let's see if we can try to at least catch up a little bit on the Porsche. You see, he's getting very, very twitchy throughout the lap. Break very, very late as we head into the final few corners. And uh, the Honda is still keeping up with the Porsche, so that's good on us. So if we can try to stay behind the Honda, stay in his slipstream, maybe we can try to make a move heading down, maybe turn number one or two uh, on the Honda and try to catch up to the Porsche. Coming into the uh, 12th lap now, we only have two laps left as we head into turn number one. The Honda brakes very, very late. He actually goes into the inside and tries to make a move on the Porsche. He pushes him out and we're able to capitalize on that. We're able to bump ourselves into second place. As you see, fifth place actually follows us through and we're in the podium now. So now we're in second place as the leader has just gotten off with the races. I don't know where he's at, but now we're defending our position heading to turn number two. It's gonna be a drag race going down to turn number two. We break as late as we can. Going side by side into turn number two, we try to push the Porsche, the Porsche out wide, and we're able to do so. So now we have clear room as we head into turn number three. We're going to keep it on the inside here as we're going to try to defend our position um, heading to turn number three. As we try to make us, uh, we look at the replay here heading to turn number two. You see the Porsche is right on the outside of us. We break as late as we can. We try to keep it on the inside. Fortunately, we didn't make any contact, but I did force him out wide a little bit, but I had to do that in order to maintain second place. As we head into turn number three now, we break very, very late. As you can see, the Porsche is still not in the radar, but the fourth place car actually bumps out the Porsche. So fourth place gets turned into third place and he makes an aggressive overtake coming into turn number three. And now we just gotta uh, defend our position for one more lap as we head into the final lap now. Coming down to turn number one, we break as late as we can, but try to do it as cautiously as we can as we are thinking about when we spun out during qualifying coming out of turn number one. We get through it safely, and now we're on the straightaway heading down into turn number two. So coming down to turn number two, we break again as late as we can, but you can see it right there on the, on the radar. There's a car catching up to us. It's the Porsche, and uh, we're able to get a, a we're actually able to cover our spot heading to turn number two as we head down the straightaway. We're heading to the next corner now and we're going to try to keep it on the inside as we try to make our defense into turn number three. We keep it to the inside here. We move under braking and we're able to cover the inside. As you can see in the replay right here, look at how long of a train we have. We have a train going from second place all the way down to seven. So that's a lot of pressure on me is if I mess up right here, I'm going all the way down to seven. So I'm doing the best that I can to try to defend my position as we head into the final few corners here. Keep it onto the inside, try to get a, a easy exit out as I don't want to spin the tires. Break very, very early, clip the apex right here. And if we can try to clip the apex on the next one, on the next two corners, we should be fine as we head into the final corners coming up now. Going down this short straightaway here past the penalty zone. You see right behind us that there's two cars and the Honda tries to make a move on the outside. He actually makes an overtake on the Porsche and now he's right on our back bumper him to the final corner here. We break as early as we can to try to cover the inside. Are we going to be able to finish in second as the Honda goes very, very wide? It's going to be a photo finish coming down the line and we're able to get second place as you see that big train of cars right behind us. and. Uh, very, very exciting race, very fun race. I can't believe we were able to get second on that race. Oh man, we were 20 seconds behind first place, but I, I had to take it, man. That was, that was a fun race. Uh, awesome podium, awesome everything. So we were able to make it happen here in the Mercedes. Very, very proud of the race and how cleanly everybody raced in, the, in that one. It was, it was very, very tricky. You just had to be as perfect as you can throughout the entire race and not make any mistakes. So, uh, yeah, anyways, if you guys had as much fun as I had, please subscribe to the channel if you guys really enjoy that content. Leave a like on the video so it really helps out the channel. Share it if you can. And, uh, yeah, hope to see you guys on the next one. Peace out.